Hello and welcome back. I'm David. I live in a village in northwest Bosnia and Herzegovina. I've been here for nearly 25 years now, maybe a little bit more than that. And I'm an older person, so I'm over 70. Uh, and I produce or record these occasional videos to give you a feel. I don't edit too much, if at all. I ramble a little bit, but I, I give you a feel for what it's like living in this country. I talk about the culture, about food, and sometimes about places to see. But I think all of them have got something that affects me. If you see me looking down at any time, I'll be looking at my notes because I don't have a teleprompter or anything like that. Over the last few weeks, we've had guests here. And the guest that left a few days ago has been following me, whether it's on YouTube or on my blog, which is hosted on Substack or wherever. And we were driving and he said that he liked these type, these types of videos. And uh, I'm quite pleased to hear that actually. And I said, well, I'm looking at other topics for the future. And he said, well, why don't you talk about safety? We talked over the first few days he was here, but how, how safe did he feel? So I thought that this one I'll talk uh, about safe safety in Bosnia Herzegovina. And I hope that you'll get a feel that it's a really safe place to come, safer than most places. We'll look at general safety to start off with. This country has a very low crime, uh, crime rate, so it's safe not only for locals, but for tourists as well. Violent crime is very, very low, and it is. When it does pop up, it normally involves criminals against criminals, but very, very rarely does it involve normal people, which you might not believe, but happens to be the truth. And both Sarajevo, which is the capital, and the second largest city, which is about 18 kilometres away from us, Banja Luka, they are very, very low with crime. People go about their lives peacefully and yeah the locals are very hospitable and i think that adds to this feeling of safety when we i say we when people go on holiday or elsewhere sometimes you do feel that there's some edge to where you've gone to are there muggings are there street violence or anything like that and that is exceedingly rare here, rare here. Petty crime can happen, especially in crowded or popular tourist spots, but it is, trust me, uncommon. And as long as you've got your bags with you and you're a little bit vigilant, then nothing's going to happen. And I think that's because the community or the culture here is one of mutual care and respect. So it's like a close place where everybody gets on and lives together. I think if you go to Sarajevo, I've not seen this in Banja Luka at all, but in Sarajevo, you might find some signs about pickpocketing. But then again, if you're vigilant, like if you don't have a wad of cash sticking out of your back pocket or your mobile phone in your back pocket, then nobody's going to, to, to bother you at all. But I think the only place in the country that I can speak of from my experience and from experience of friends is Sarajevo. You might find it there, but I say it's not common and basic precautions will keep you safe. Other people say, well, it's dangerous because of war, right? The war ended more than 25 years ago. My Norwegian friend said that people back in Norway were still saying, is it, oh, come on, it's, you know, war, war, violence, violence. Over 25 years ago, the war has ended. Yes, there are sc scars that you can see today. Uh, if you go out into the countryside, deep into the countryside, you'll see some villages that really do show the signs of what happened all those years ago. But that that's long gone. There's no war here. So you don't need to have a bulletproof vest or a steel helmet or anything like that. So please, 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 if anybody says, oh, it's dangerous because of war, it's BS. And maybe you could help me by calling that out. 
For solo travellers, it's quite friendly. Locals, as I say, are very kind. If you're open to it, they will very, very quickly try and chat with you, even if there are linguistic difficulties or differences. <clears throat> They'll try and make ends meet, as I would say. They will try and talk to you, share stories with you. And their hospitality, as I say, is amazing. So be prepared to be invited in for a coffee or a mezza, which is like a huge starter. And it's true for travellers, female travellers, sorry, I've spoken to who actually have said that they feel safer than they do in other countries and that they're respected. So there you go. Bosnia respects women and uh, treats them very, very well. Bear that in mind, please. And it has this warm culture. One of the unique things about Bosnia, though, is that although I said the war is has been over for over 30 years, there are still areas where there's landmines. I would say the greater percentage of the country has now been cleared of ma uh, landmines, and where landmines are are still very rural, right out in the sticks. I think most local people... If you're in an area, will tell you if there are mines in their area. But I think this rule is the one that st keeps you safe. Stay on the hard standing, asphalt and paths, right? And if there's grass that hasn't been cut, so it's like up to your knees, don't go through it. Now, that might sound strange, but if the grass has been cut, that means there's no mines there because people have been mowing the lawn or cutting the grass or whatever. But it's a very, very small percentage of the country's surface that still has mines. And hopefully in the coming years, they'll all be removed, or the, the vast majority, 98, 99% of them, will be removed. But as I say, if you're one of these people <clears throat> that likes to trek out right into no man's land, sorry to use the phrase, but out where there's no nobody and you want to be totally with nature, just be aware, keep on hard surfaces and keep where the grass is very, 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 very short, and you will be uh, totally safe. In terms of natural hazards, it is a mountainous country. We do have the occasional seismic shudder. We have them quite a lot, actually, but they're not huge, and they very rarely damage property. If you look on my blog, you'll see that a couple of weeks ago, we were celebrating the 55th anniversary of a massive earthquake that hit Banja Luka. But what we get these days is just um, small tremors. They can be a bit of a surprise, but I would say they were almost all harmless. In the winter, though, in the mountainous areas, you'll get heavy snowfall, even with climate change. So I suppose that's more of a, a travel consideration than a safety risk. Roads in the mountains can become very icy and they can become blocked. So if you're coming and you're driving in winter and you want to go out into the countryside, look at driving a 4x4 here, or if you're going to hire one, hire a 4x4. So plan in advance and always look at the weather forecast. When you're out in those mountains and if you slip off the road, you, you could be a long way away from, from help. So that's all I'm saying there. And if you like skiing and snowboarding, you've got to come here because it's so cheap and it's great. And finally, with social security, social safety rather, uh, the country has a diverse population, different ethnicities, religions and traditions. It's gone through a lot. But you'll find Muslim, Orthodox Christians and Catholic communities living by side by side, no hassle. And the general atmosphere is one of respect and tolerance. So I hope that made sense and it wasn't too much of an incoherent ramble. But I felt that having been asked about safety and what it's really like, you might be watching this and you, I'm going to call this Is Bosnia Safe to Travel? I might change the title somewhat. But rather than you looking at all these wonderful videos that are online and images and everything else, yeah, I'm telling you, David's telling you, I've been here 25 years. I'm not an expert, but I think I know 
more than most, I would say come. It is incredibly safe. And for me, going back to my hometown of London now, I think I would be a little bit worried about crime. You don't have to worry about that here. I hope that's helped. Wherever you see this video, could you do the drill? Wherever, If it says a like, a share, a subscribe, or pressing buttons or whatever, then if you could do that, that would be cool. And I think somewhere where there are notes, I'll give you a link to where you can subscribe to my blog. It doesn't cost anything. And where, if you wanted to buy me a coffee, you can do that. Okay, until the next one, Fidimus Opet, and I will see you soon.